You're coming into Barcelona this 23rd to 26th of September for the La Merced festivals and you're super excited, but you don't exactly understand what we're celebrating or where to be to get the most out of the festival. Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain all of that, breaking down the best parts of the festival so you can take the most advantage of it. And stick around to the end because we're gonna talk about why those forecasts for rain are not so surprising and probably not too much to worry about. La Merce is one of Barcelona's patron saints, celebrated every September 24th and the days and usually the weekend around it, and it gives us the best festivals throughout the entire year. Not only is it kind of like a culmination to the end of summer, an end to all of those big neighborhood festivals, but it is a lot of fun filled with all sorts of cultural traditions that you'll be able to see all around the old city in Barcelona, but also all sorts of different concerts and even fireworks. But what's the story of Our Lady of Mercy and how she became one of the patron saints that we celebrate here in Barcelona today? Legend has it that all the way back in 1218, the Virgin Mary simultaneously appeared in front of Jaume I, the King of Aragon at the time, along with two other monks on September 24th, asking them to create an order of monks to go off and save the Christian captives that had been taken by the Saracens. But Our Lady of Mercy wouldn't be proclaimed patron saint of the city by the city council until about 400 years later after saving Barcelona from a plague of locusts. It would take another 200 years before the Pope would officially proclaim La Merce one of the patron saints of Barcelona, and it wasn't until 1871 that they started celebrating La Merce as a Festa Mayor. A Festa Mayor is celebrating the patron saint of a city or a neighborhood. And we've got a lot of them here in Barcelona. Because the last two years had been so affected by that pandemic, last year was technically the 150th year anniversary of the celebration. But this year we're gonna go and we're gonna celebrate it anyway. Now the celebrations today have changed quite a bit from what they originally started as, turning from more of the celebration of the city of Barcelona to all of Catalan culture. So along the way and during the days, you're gonna see all sorts of celebrations, mainly within that old part of the city. You're gonna to wanna to be in that Gothic quarter for the most part if you wanna really get deep involved in all the different dances, processions, any of that music that you're going to be seeing. But there are different celebrations and activities all over the city, especially if you wanna get out and see some of those concerts. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below directly to the program, so if you're looking for any specific musicians or any sort of performances that are going on, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. Here, we're gonna focus on a lot more about those cultural activities so you can make the most out of the festival. On Friday the 23rd, everything's gonna get kicked off at Santa Maria del Pi, St. Mary's of the Pine, with the initial bells that are gonna go off around five o'clock. Things are really gonna get started at 7 p.m. when all of the giants and all of the different characters that are usually in those processions that will be in those processions for the next couple days are gonna start over from the Palau Virreina, which is right over on La Rambla, and make their way over to Plaza de San Jaume. This is probably gonna be the main hub that you're gonna to wanna to be around if you wanna see any of these different dances or any of these processions because most things are gonna run right through that plaza. After the procession starts at seven o'clock from La Rambla, they'll get over to Plaza de San Jaume where you're gonna have the Toc de Nisi, which is basically the starting of the entire festivals. You're gonna see a lot of different dances and things going on around nine o'clock, a lot of presentations of the different giants, the different characters and animals. So you'll definitely wanna be in that plaza at that time. At nine o'clock, the giants are gonna all go into the city hall. They're gonna to go to sleep and they're gonna rest for the night giving us the time to celebrate, to get out into the streets. At 10 o'clock over at the Barceloneta Beach, we're gonna have the first of the three days of fireworks that are gonna be around in the city. It's definitely something you wanna check out, but at 10.45, because all of the festival has started, everybody's out and people are all around in the city, what we're gonna have are the giants waking up, they couldn't sleep, and they're gonna have another march around the old city center. That's gonna be basically the last organized activity that you have going on at night that you should be aware of, but keep in mind, around the city center in the different plazas, you still have all sorts of different concerts. On Saturday the 24th, the day of La Merce, you're gonna to wanna to stick around in that Gothic quarter as well if you wanna see any of the different cultural activities especially at one o'clock in the Plaza de San Jaume, you've got the Castellers that are gonna be performing. The Castellers are gonna make those human towers, which are gonna be people stacking themselves on top of each other, trying to get to basically as high as they can, but it's not really a competition. What it is, is, is it a group activity of unity, bringing everybody together, and you really get to see all of that teamwork 
in each of those different towers. Now at one o'clock, you're gonna to wanna to be in the center of that plaza, but keep in mind, there's all sorts of different activities going on throughout the Gothic Quarter, lots of different dances in front of the cathedral over at the Plaza de la Merced, and different processions, different parades that are going on throughout the back streets. And at the end of the day, you're gonna to wanna to head back over to the Barceloneta Beach for more fireworks. On Sunday the 25th, there really are gonna be two different events that you don't wanna miss out on. Again, at one o'clock in the Plaza de San Jaume, they're gonna have the big day of the Castellers. And now Saturday was a day to see and definitely check out, but you're gonna have some of the most historic and some of the best teams coming over to Barcelona to be involved in the event. You've even got the Castelleros de Vais, which is where all of this whole tradition of human tower building comes from. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. But at 8.30, you're gonna to wanna to get over to the Passage de Gracia. And actually this year, they're celebrating the 200th year anniversary of the creation of that Passage de Gracia opening up the city, getting out and connecting it to the city that was Gracia before. But over at 8.30, what you're gonna wanna go and check out is the Correfoc, the fire run. This is one of those events that is a must see, even if you're not going to get involved. At the top of the Passage de Gracia, what's going to happen is they're gonna open up the gates of hell and all of these different demons, all of these different beasts are gonna come running out. And what they have are basically fireworks connected to them, maybe on some horns or antlers or along the beast, and they're gonna be spitting out and shooting around all of those different embers. What a lot of people will do is they'll line up to watch the procession and see all these fireworks being spit around, but a lot of people will go over and they'll get inside of the street under the fireworks and kind of dance around a little bit. They do recommend being safe and wearing longer sleeves and longer pants things that you don't mind getting a little burned, but it's not gonna be a full fire or anything. It's a completely different tradition, one that I remember the first time I ever saw it, being absolutely blown away. This year, over at that Passage de Gracia, you don't wanna miss it. On Monday the 26th, keep in mind that it is a public holiday here in Barcelona. So you might find a lot of stores, shops, restaurants with different hours or closed altogether. Everybody's just been celebrating the patron saint, the end of summer, so they will be taking advantage of it and kind of resting. So it is a little bit more of a down day. But at 8.30 until 9.30, you're gonna have the procession of all of those giants that walked over to the Plaza de San Jaume, starting there and making their way back to the Palau de Reina just off of La Rambla. If you wanna check that out, it's gonna be one of those last things that you can really see as they're kind of closing up the festivals. But keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on your watch. At 9.30, that's all set to end, but at 10 o'clock, you've got the fireworks that are gonna close down the festival. I remember my first year checking it out as well, and it was really fun to get over to Plaza España and that main road that goes right up to Monjuic where everybody's out there watching the final fireworks to kind of close down everything. Make sure you get over there, and keep in mind that metros there and back afterwards are gonna be very, very packed. Now remember those are just some of the things that you don't want to miss if you're over here for the La Merced festivals between the 23rd and the 26th, but there are also all sorts of things all over the city that you can definitely check out as well. Remember to check out the link below and you'll see a full program of what there is to do. But if you've already checked that weather source and you've seen that it's supposed to rain all weekend, don't be worried about that. That is pretty much planned. Remember that I told you that La Merced was just one of the patron saints of Barcelona. The first patron saint was actually Santa Eulalia, who gives the name to the cathedral. Her celebrations are in February, the weather's a little bit worse, and they aren't as big as the festivals of La Merced have become. So because Santa Eulalia is a little jealous of what happens in September when everybody's out, all of the celebrations, she begins to cry. And unfortunately, that's what brings all of that rain over the weekend. So it's not something that we didn't expect to be coming. And if Santa Laulia can be a little bit more permissive this year, it should be something that we don't even have to worry about. Hopefully that's the case. But now that you know exactly what you can do for the festivals of La Merced, if you're gonna be in Barcelona for a little bit longer, check out my video all about the things that you can do at September to find out how the month is gonna end.